Hello and welcome to another What's Inside. Today we are looking at Get a Grip, the No Thumbs Challenge game. Ages 8 and up, 3 plus players. From Hasbro Gaming, this is the 2016 version. There are other versions, apparently, uh, that are slightly newer, I guess, but I haven't seen them. But this is a pretty common game to find. Basically, you get these wrist wrappers, and you can't use your thumb to play the game. Now, the clay that is used does contain wheat, and is supposed to be non-toxic. But if that's an issue, you know, just be aware of that. Also, the wrist wrappers are made of 100% polyester, and they are machine washable. Uh, you can wash them with cold, with light colors, tumble dry low. So let's take a look at what we've got inside of here. It's just sealed with a piece of tape. Everything's on one side, <laughs> except the instructions are over here. That's okay. Okay, so let's see what we've got here. Okay, it looks like it's just held with. Uh, this is actually just like Velcro, but it's really, uh, it, it doesn't stick up like most Velcro, so it's really light. But it's really strong. That's really cool. Alright, so there's the no thumbs wrist pad. There's a little pocket here, I suppose you put your thumb in there or something. You get two big pads. They say 2016 Hasbro, probably just because that thumb logo there. Otherwise, it's pretty straightforward blank paper. Looks like it's probably 50 to 100 pages. I'm not going to count them. And here's your instructions. This is real thin paper. That's real cheap. These are nice. This is garbage. I don't know what they're doing. So yeah, you put your thumb in that little pocket and then you just wrap it on. So you go something like this. So, yeah, pretty straightforward. Alright, so let's zoom in a little bit and take a closer look at the contents. Okay, so there's a little logo on the pad. Pretty straightforward, decent quality pads, nothing spectacular. These are actually pretty nicely made, and you can see the uh, Velcro strip here. It's actually pretty well sewn on, pretty sturdy stuff. Decent little Velcro here. I like that it's not high bristles, so it's not going to agitate your skin or anything. And these are your little clay cups. It's just standard um, modeling clay, I believe. Uh, sculpting clay correction so it's pretty straightforward stuff uh, if there's an allergy or something you want to be aware of that Let's see if it says what it's made of it contains wheat and it says that in like a dozen languages so more than that actually but you get the idea it's pretty pretty simple stuff it's just sculpting clay it's red whoop de do so that's kind of boring but let's take a look at these cards and see how good quality these are. Oh, they sealed these. That's nice. They did a real good job of sealing them, too. So they have the cover picture on the back. And there should be 60 of these. They are numbered in the upper corner, which is really nice.
The cards have a nice smooth feel to them, but the paper quality is not that great. They're pretty thin paper. So that's the cards. Okay, so that's the get a grip game. Unfortunately, there are other things you're going to need. Some of the cards call for like a button down shirt, a zip up jacket, timers, uh, and it doesn't come with any writing utensils, so you'll need pencils or pens or something to draw with. Otherwise, it looks like a pretty decent game. It might get a little messy with the clay. And the clay could dry out if you're buying it used, be aware of that. But sculpting clay is fairly inexpensive and you can find it at most hobby shops or in the kids section. So that probably is not that big of a deal. It's mostly the other things you're going to need for the cards like the button up shirts and the jackets, that sort of thing. So be aware of that. Uh, if you're going to let your kids play this, make sure you have those items nearby in case they want to play and I would definitely go through the cards and see if there's anything else that I'm not remembering that was on the cards. But overall it seems like an okay game. It's probably not something I would buy for my kids just because the clay is going to be a hassle. But you know if uh, your kids are real into this sort of thing it could be a lot of fun. And because it is for three and more players you could have some fun playing with a larger group. Uh, but it is ages 8 and up. Uh, the clay probably is a hazard for really little kids. They're going to eat it. So uh, I would definitely uh, stick to the ages 8 and up uh, to keep the mess down and keep real little kids from chewing on the clay. But that's just my take on it. Uh, so we've seen what's inside the box. You've heard my opinion on it. It seems like an okay game. Uh, it's fairly easy to come by, but it is what it is and that's going to do it for this episode as always thank you so much for listening and supporting the channel if you enjoyed the video give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell for notifications if you want to support the channel in other ways links are in the description and on the about page and as always we hope to see you on the next one